Parshat Lech Lecha opens with the most succinct summary of Jewish spirituality that you could ask for. Lech Lecha, walk to yourself. Discover your authentic self with God to the land that I will show you. And we see Abraham going on his journey. Not everything goes so smooth. And like all of us, he has ups and downs, bumps and bumps in the road and, and moments of elation and moments of difficulty. What we can see is when he first gets to the land of Israel, and the, he has this revelation of God. He says, this is the place. As if God is saying, okay, this is the place. Your children will inherit this land. Uh, and there it says that he built an a altar to Hashem who appeared to him there. Okay. And we keep going. He keeps moving on. And then uh, he builds another altar. And there he calls in the name of Hashem. It's a very interesting. You know, the first one is he builds an altar to Hashem who appeared to him. And the second uh, builds an altar to Hashem, and he calls in the name of Hashem. After he goes down to Egypt and he's coming back, he comes back and he only revisits that second altar where he had called out in the name of Hashem. So what's the difference? Well, these represent two different kinds of spiritual moments. There are times when we have a great epiphany, and it's, it's amazing, and we want to do something, we want to sort of remember that moment, take a snapshot as if to say, if I could only live in this moment uh, forever. Right? That's what it means to build an altar to Hashem who appeared to me. Right? I've had that moment of revelation and I wish I could save it, but I don't. And when it, those fleeting moments, we can never regain them. We can't get it just right ever again. But if we take in that moment of, of, of epiphany, that moment of spiritual, uh, authentic experience, and you call out in the name of Hashem, you take that and from that moment you pray. You take that moment and you invest it into the future. You call out in the name of Hashem. That prayer is something you can return to. The relationship that gets built with Hashem by praying again and again and again is something that we can always come back to. Whereas we can't preserve that appearance. We can't preserve that moment. We can't preserve the relationship that we build with that moment if we take the time to take a moment of, of, of heightened experience and pray to Hashem and from that place call out in the name of God and put words to it and then we can sort of save that experience in our relationship with Hashem. Shabbat Shalom.